Do we know where the demonstrators got the weapons from? Well, I haven't reported on the presence of any weapons. Excuse me, refugee advocates have said that people in Mike compound saw mobs of 30 to 40 strong police and local PNG people coming through with weapons. And are you going to be investigating that even if um, they tell you that, in fact, there were no PNG or locals involved in the attack? Well, it was not just G4S. Um, my statement early today made it very clear that there were no PNG police inside the centre last night. That is the report that was provided to me overnight and uh, that is the information that I have available to me. So the suggestion that PNG police uh, were in the centre is, is not correct on the information that I have and G4S have advised uh, that there were, when, when no one, there was no one who came from outside and sought to um, disrupt or attack people on the inside which, would, which led to the uh, to the uh, perimeter fence being breached. Is it true someone was thrown from a roof? Well, I have no report on that whatsoever and I, I would add this word of caution to all of the reports and rumours that are being put around uh, by people today. Uh, we will work through the details of what took place last night and I will report on those details, uh, whether it's here or, or in Canberra later this afternoon or elsewhere over the course of the week, and we will confirm what took place. But I would uh, caution people to be very wary of unsubstantiated reports uh, that may be put into the public domain.